it's the saturday wrap the saturday wrap for saturday the 18th checks it is the 18th of march 2023 recorded on friday the 17th of march possibly i will be in newport when you view this and this has been recorded in bedwas and there's no green background this week and uh, there is a, a proper light i i vary on what i do anyway sorry if you haven't seen this before me talking about my week um, there will be beer mentioned um, there will be some politics um, there will be mattresses um, there will be bus passes um, and beanos many beanos in fact scratch his nose anyway um yeah so let's start with the word or phrase of the week and i had lots I had lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. Um, but in the end, because, well, AI is the thing for um, 2023, I decided on Copilot um, Thursday. Um, there was a Microsoft bash. And basically, um, AI is being introduced to the whole of the office suite. And it will be known as, I was going to say Clippy, um, but actually Copilot and you can tell your excel spreadsheet to produce a pivot table or you can tell powerpoint to uh, well knock out a deck um or you can uh, arrange a meeting and get some tasks from the meeting and it'll write notes for you uh, kind of works actually at the moment it's like that moment when microsoft or oh, bill gates discovered the internet behind everyone else and everything became internet enabled like you could produce a web page with practically anything including microsoft publisher but mm, there you go so copilot is the word of the week uh, especially if you use office in work look out for that in the next couple of months at home uh, if you use the edge web browser it's already there as chat gpt or bing chat and there's the bing chat app on android and ios uh, oh tons anyway um which leads nicely in <coughs> segue um to the app of the week the bing app um sort of like a web browser a bit uh full of news full of weather forecasts pops up interesting things and such like if you're into microsoft rewards which i am i think it's 5700 points for a fiver on amazon um it'll generate those for you as well um always worth a crack of obviously they are tracking you they want to know what you're doing uh, and they want to sell that on to other people um nothing's for free there you go anyway the thing of the week would it be a bus pass um would it be a mattress would it be match of the day no it's the budget came over as rather lackluster and um i know it's displeased a lot of people uh especially on the beer front uh although not so much on draft beer but uh, oh yeah petrol and diesel aren't going up which is just as well because things but yeah this one will run and run and run and run um and i don't think it was particularly good although it wasn't particularly bad either which i suppose is what budgets are all about not being able to please people but there you go anyway this time last friday the airwaves and the interwebs lit up with the name gary lineker now i'm not going to talk about free speech or biases or whatever however the bbc sell match of the day around the world and the punters want to see gary lineker they want to see ian wright they want to see alan shearer so you can't have them off the air for long the bbc are sort of short of cash so whatever you feel about it that's why the bbc apologized that's why lineker's back um with less and uh slapped wrist and he didn't even say sorry so he knows the situation um but there you go and as for five hundred thousand extra viewers of match of the day without them all let's just have a look at it and see what it looks like i suspect i could be wrong but there you go anyway um saturday morning mb03 mm, 
some snow flurries uh, a frozen screen um a light by the time well semi-light by the time i got to monmouth <sighs> freezing cold um back into the routine uh, that was really good a birthday beer from cloudwater who had their birthday not so long ago and why didn't i book another night I just wanted to stay it was good it was very good and then you arrive and then you're leaving which is a sign that it is but and also uh, a free cup of coffee and cost of coffee next time because i've got uh eight uh beans on my app obviously being tracked etc whatever um came back on sunday applied for 60 plus bus pass also ordered emma mattress um a mother's day discount of 55 percent makes you think what markup they've already got and another token from bing tokens which was applied i think that was another 3.7 percent and i'm not altogether sure if i'll get this one but um top cashback was saying four percent i don't think you can add them all together but i'll certainly try <laughs> there you go um on monday an email from the welsh government uh old codgers bus pass people yeah i put my driver's license in there which um is a, one of the old green ones and although the address was correct my postcode has changed it was mp1 i'm now cf83 so i had to upload a well energy bill and it wasn't really clear if that would be acceptable so i emailed them and then a day after i had another email back from them saying it's all fine it's on its way and all that sort of stuff and i expected it to be there well wednesday thursday and today but then i realized it's an id card with a picture on it so that's probably going to slow it down so i'm probably gonna have to pay for the bus tomorrow <sighs> there you go what can you do to be perfectly honest um monday Aldi had cucumbers, lots of cucumbers, um, and some tomatoes, but no peppers. And earlier on in the day, couldn't get in through the front door in the tumble. Had to go round the back to the entrance to the secret garden. They're having a new dance floor. It's in now, jumping ahead. It's Antico. Um, my experience of Antico is you need big and lots of barrier mats because water doesn't like it. They haven't. I think they're going to have issues. Anyway, but if you want to dance, they've got a new floor there. I'm not a dancer. Can't even clap in time. But there you are. What can you do? Um, Tuesday actually monday monday into tuesday um goodbye to dilbert's um so as you probably aware um uh, scott adams uh, the creator of dilbert has been getting into trouble politically um and has been deplatformed on certain things and now he's decided to deplatform himself go over to locals which is run by the same people who run rumble um, I did sign up for it to see the diddle, but say, because he's pulled down the archive as well, but he's now made them more edgy, which, from what I could tell, were not very funny. And now um, you can't even see them. You have to pay to see them. So it's the end of the Dilberts. No more WhatsApping Dilberts out and all that sort of stuff. It's a shame because a lot of them were based on people emailing in and saying this is happening in our organization. That's why they were so funny because they were based on real life and there's nothing more funny than real life. But what can you do? So um, Tuesday, um, I was going to say day off, but working from home day which I don't like, I'd rather be in the office. Um, because in the middle of the night, an email from DD, DPD saying, we have your mattress. And then I looked at another email from them and it's in Rumney Cardiff. I gotta be honest, DPD are not bad as deliverers go and their app isn't bad as well. And you can track it and the drivers are, I found to be extremely helpful um yeah so uh, i unpacked it and it needs to decompress for five hours so i didn't get to sleep on it that night however wednesday night initial feelings it's taller than my existing one my existing one is pretty short to be honest i've had it far too long um and it's memory foam and according to the notes it takes you a couple of weeks just to get used to sleeping on it i already feel that it is much better for me 
much much better i don't wake up with funny hips or funny backs or whatever and that's only been one two tonight will be the third night emma emma single with 55 percent off but there you go um yeah bus pass i've mentioned that's on the way um wednesday firmer sleeping uh friday uh, thursday oh friday okay world sleep day today is world sleep day you also saint patrick's day i had a pint of guinness for lunch i'd never checked in a pint of guinness to untapped and as a stout it's all right <laughs> um but i've had much better stouts and on that bombshell that's it for this week comments and etc you can get subtitles if you go on youtube um i will see you all next week um because next week 22nd well this one's beer festival starts lots of beers looking already good tomorrow i'm gonna start practicing even without my bus pass mm, bye bye